Guess what we're going to talk about today, noob noob? We're going to talk about Will Wheaton. Who? Will Wheaton and Dave Chappelle. Why are you saying his name like that? Whose name? Will Wheaton? But, but why are you saying his name wrong? Because he's lame. Ah, uh, yes. So, Will Wheaton decided to wade into the Dave Chappelle Netflix thing. I guess because he's upset that Netflix annou- announced a uh, Netflix is a joke festival where the festival is going to travel around. So, and he thought the festival was about him in Star Trek because he was a joke. Yes, he was a joke. I there's distinctly many many jokes about him ruining the entire series. Like, shut up, Wesley, and. Uh, there's a whole, there's a robot chicken gag about them putting up a sign like we would rather have him raped and killed. Oh. Yeah, that's not my job. I heard that he spent all of his Star Trek money on hookers for him to uh, step on his heels and crush his balls. Oh. With well, his balls. I mean, that's a thing. he's Wesley Crusher. Well, let's see what he did. He's, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. The Star Trek, Star Trek host, like, first of all, what has this guy done in forever? Like, all he does is ride the coattails of something he was famous for, like, 30 years ago. He was in ago. Big Bang Theory as Will Wheaton. Oh, he was just Will Wheaton? He was. Oh, well, that's pretty sad. When you're playing yourself, that means you're at the end of your rope. So. He played with himself very well, though. Oh, okay. He did. Well, let's see exactly what he said, because he, he said a lot of things. Let's go to his post here, because we have it. We have the receipts. Absolutely disgusted. Every single comedian who's on this bill should withdraw unless and until this despicable bigot is uninvited. Any comedian who is part of this should be ashamed of themselves. Netflix may not believe in holding this piece of ass to account, but you all have to live with yourself and the choice you make to perform with him. And F everyone at Netflix who is part of this. T rights are H rights and words matter. (laughs) Edit. Oh, he had to edit something. 12 hours later, an important follow-up thought. Super important. Barely ridiculous. It's very easy for me to sit in my chair and issue edicts about what other people should do. That's presumptuous, and it overwhelms a larger point that I made in a comment here, which is in its own post. What, he's trying to get you to read other posts, you nerd? Oh, my God. I withdraw that outburst, and I regret saying it like, I don't know if anyone cares, but I guess I do, and I want to. What is going on here? This man's clearly off his medication. Yes, he needs to go back on his medication. I'm pretty sure that there was a whole thing where... uh, uh, when Netflix had those protests that they were trying to beat up people who said jokes are funny. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, Vito did a, he went to the protest and held up a sign that said jokes are funny with his friend and they got beat up pretty bad. Because they said jokes were funny? Yes, they got oh. assaulted, yeah. And the one guy got actually got his head slammed into like a concrete thing. I mean, this man's so much of a pussy he can't even say the actual curse words. He's just asterisking everything man's a sneeze away from calling Dave Chappelle the n-word oh my god I mean it seems like that right like Like, what exactly did what yeah why is he white knighting will whiten the tea come on now the tea community I don't know like what is going on what he's got a whole story here too what are we supposed to read more oh boy I don't think so they welcomed me what is he talking about what is that a bunch of T people welcomed him in his regular clothes. Oh my gosh. T or team? I don't know anymore. I can't keep Is track. Is he going to homosexual tea parties? Yes, actually. Oh. What? When he was 16, he played ice hockey almost every night at a local rink, and he was a goalie. Oh. He always needed goalies. He loved catching those pucks. <laughs> Mouth first. <laughs> One night, I'd play a couple hours of pickup with some really great dudes. They were really friendly. They were funny. They enjoyed the game. They treated me like I was part of their team. Oh, they welcomed boy. me. After we finished, we were all in the locker getting changed in our regular clothes. Whoa, this what is, is going getting, on there? This is getting sexual. <laughs> oh, should we I'm keep going? I'm good. I'm about to get uncomfortable. Why is he still talking? I don't know. I uh, to discuss comedy for the love of it. One of the dif- I don't understand. What, what's with the story? He forgot they were to finish naked the in rest a dressing of the story. room talking about comedy. 
That's I, when Will Wheaton just full out bricked in his teammate's mouth. I guess so. All of, and all of it was dehumanizing to gay men. All of it was cr what? cruel. I guess he's saying that these people were really mean in the locker room because he's gay. I don't. I don't know. Allegedly? Is he saying that he was bullied? Like what is going on? All of it was punching down. Credit so he would never play hockey again. What does like, this have to do with Dave Chappelle? Is this why he, I mean, oh, were they all like black people? Is that why he hates black people or something? I don't know. That's very strange. Will Wheaton is a racist. I guess he's the real. He's, he's the, the real bigot. One. He could it's be. It's reverse bigamy. <laughs> he, we need to take down Will now, Whiten. Now he's a bigamist, yes. Will Whiten. <laughs> That's his new name. I don't understand. I, I, I don't know. Apparently, did he even watch the special? It's really not that funny, and it's mostly a story about him telling, about, uh, talking about one of his friends that killed, killed themselves yeah. because they were bullied by the trans community. So I don't know. I don't know. He oh, then now he's returning back to the locker room. He's talking to these guys. He forgot the whole locker room. He got this whole thing. He even without realizing what he oh my god, he's gonna admit it. Then without realizing what I was doing, that awful word came out of my mouth. Blah 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 N word. Wait, what? Did he say that's Oh an F no, word. he said F word. That's oh. just as bad. He was calling them a String bushel, up a bushel of sticks. Oh my gosh. The room fell silent, and that's when I f realized that every single guy in this room was gay. They were called a team called the Blades. <laughs> and I just said, really, what is wrong with that? <laughs> what oh. is this? So he admits to being a bigot. You bigot. Calling you can't call bigots other bigots, you bigot sandwich. Oh my god. What a terrible so he just admitted that he what is going on here? If I were those gay men, I would have held Will Wheaton down and just ran a train on. I'm pretty sure that he couldn't have stopped them. That happened over 30 years ago. I'd have slipped my blades right in between those. And cheeks. he's still mortified and embarrassed. Dude, you're 16 and you're playing hockey in a locker room. Pretty sure nobody nothing bad happened. I mean, unless I thought he was going to say something bad happened to him. No. So, I don't understand what what did Dave Chappelle say. No one ever says, have you noticed the criticism? No one ever says, what exactly did Chappelle say that made you upset? Did nothing, no. Dave Chappelle did nothing wrong. Nope. Jokes. Dave Chappelle's a hero. I mean, he's like the goat, and now he's being targeted. I wonder why. By a white man. Yeah, it's a little, little strange. Put down the hood, Wheaton. Go down the hood. No, put down the hood. Oh, put down his hood. Yes. Okay. The white hood. Yes. All right, Cass. Those jokes contribute to a world where transgender people are constantly under threat of violence because transgender people have been safely, acceptably de dehumanized. What does he even know about that community? Like... I think he's a vibrant member. Okay. I mean, you're, if you're a member, you can probably say something, but if you're not, shut up. Wesley. Bigot. <laughs> Shut up, Wesley. Shut up, Bigley. <laughs> Shut up, Bigley. Wow, this is a really long article. This is way too much for my neck to handle at this angle. <laughs> you have an adjustable microphone. I feel like I'm in that 16 year old's locker room right oh now. Oh my gosh. You don't even. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> your, your neck is at a. It is. Bit. Oh my gosh, this is a novel. I'm tired of I can't even reading read this. that long. No, I'm a follow. I don't care. Will this Wesley, is, or wait, Will Wheaton. <laughs> so we're not going to give him the benefit of the doubt. We're just going to uh, complain. Will about Wheaton Quill crushes Wheaton. Dave Chappelle with his bigotry. Appar apparently. But Dave Chappelle's black balls are too strong. Uh, D Dave Chappelle, he, uh, his, his, his response is come to my shows. San Francisco, Minneapolis, Des Moines, Indiana, Cleveland, Toronto, Cincinnati, Columbus, Atlanta, and New York. So, enjoy. He's also going to be joined, uh, I don't know, with special guests. Doesn't say who else. But he's going to be honored as part of the inaugural edition of the Hall, including Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, Billy Crystal, Whoopi Goldberg, Jerry Seinfeld, Sarah Silverman, Wanda, Wikes, and, uh, Wanda Sykes. Those people are super woke, so if they can accept Dave Chappelle, why can't you, Will Wheaton? I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, I guess uh, if you like, subscribe, thumbs up, all those things, because if you don't, I think Noob Noob might do this. I will cosplay as Wesley Crusher and then put on six inch stiletto heels and step on your butthole. Oh my gosh. And then I'll take you into that 16 year old boy's locker room and turn you gay. <laughs> oh my if you weren't gay already, I'll turn you straight. 
<laughs> whichever comes first. It'll transition you back and forth until you don't know which way is up. <laughs> oh my gosh. You'll love every second of it though. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, thank you for listening. Uh, we are a small channel, so we really do every subscription matters to get us closer to that big number that we can uh, get a little more out of, uh, a little more juice for the squeeze from YouTube here. And uh, make sure you catch our full length audio podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all those good places. And our 7.30 p.m. Friday night, Eastern Standard Time, live stream coming at ya. So from all of us here at Orku, we're on to the next one.